Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to continue with our velocity series and we are going to see how we can call an apex class from data raptor. Previously, we have seen how we can call an apex class from integration procedure. So let's start. So we know that uh, data raptor is used to get data from Salesforce. Uh, query data. Uh, so we have uh, four different types of data raptor that is data raptor extract, data raptor load, data raptor turbo extract, and data raptor transform. So data raptor extract and data raptor turbo extract is used to fetch data from Salesforce, uh, similar to the way Sockel does. So uh, in this tutorial, I'm not going to go deep into the basics because I've explained the basics of data raptor in previous videos. So let's uh, straight away go to the important things. So the demo which I'm going to show you in this video and the code which uh, we'll use in the demo only applies if you use Omni Studio. So if you use Omni Studio for Velocity, that was the old version, then there is a separate uh, way to create a custom function. And th th then we can call the custom function from the data raptor to call an Apex class. So we are going to use the latest way that is our Apex class will implement the callable interface so that it can be called from the DR. So now let's see a demo. So I'll go to my org. So I'll show you this article. So this is the article which I have followed um, in this uh, for this tutorial. So uh, I've created this data raptor extract and I've named it called Apex class from DR. I'm extracting accounts where owner ID is not equal to null and uh, I've put a limit of 10. So uh, I've added some formulas here. So um, this is the way you can call an Apex class from the data raptor. So firstly, you need to provide the Apex class name, the method which you want to call. And after that, you can provide in the input parameters. So let me show you the Apex class first. So this is the Apex class, my custom functions. This implements the callable interface. If you implement the callable interface, then you need to override the call method. Within the call method, uh, you'll get three arguments. Uh, action and the map of string comma object in the action we'll get the method name so let's say uh, in this custom function i've defined three methods uh, one is to convert uh, an uh, to an object array one is to replace some values um, uh, in a string and one is to use the phone number formatting so let's say we you we call an apex class uh, from the data raptor if uh, there are some functions so we have some functions provided by data raptor uh, which we can use in the formula tab but let's say those formulas are not enough you want to do much more transformations then you can use an apex class uh, to to do the necessary transformations so uh, this is the convert convert method so this converts a list with uh, the, of this type to a list of key comma value so uh, we can provide the key from our own secondly we have the uh, to replace function so we can replace some value in the string to a particular value and thirdly we have the phone number formatting so let's say we have provided this phone number uh, these types of phone number and we want the output to be something kind of like this so we can use the uh, this custom function from our apex class similarly if i go to the code to sh show you so this is the replace method and this is the phone number formatting so i'll go to the uh, formula tab within the formula tab i have defined my key as account i've hard coded the values for this demo so i'll calling the two object array function which i showed like it will convert an object to a key comma object value key comma value a pair and uh, then i have provided this input string data raptor youtube so you can uh, instead of underscore i want these to be a hyphen between them instead of underscore so I what I've done is uh, I've put the to replace to high underscore and replace with with hyphen. So when we'll see the output, we are going to see it. The uh, we are calling in the custom function provide in the input string. This is the input string. This is the to replace and this is the replace with with three input parameters. And this is our uh, third custom function. So we are given a phone number with this format and we are going to convert this to a something like of this format which i showed in the article so this is the method name and this is the input value so one more thing so one thing which i want to highlight is if you are sending a list as an input parameter in the function custom function then within the apex class you need to use uh, you will get that in the velocity formula list key 
uh, list and then you need to get the velocity formula list uh, since you are sending a list from dr to the apex class putting the uh, in the output tab we are putting the apex result uh, from the custom function one to the output one the phone number output to output three and the replace string to output two so i'll go to preview i'll click on execute so boom so this is our output to our underscore has been changed to hyphen our output one has been changed to we provided the key as input so our values has been changed to key uh our value pairs to our key since the, we provide the key as account so it got changed to key uh is the account and the values are json node of account and thirdly our phone number you can see that it got changed to this specific format which we wanted uh so yep this is how you can call the uh, call an apex class from the data raptor so and this is how you can handle the input of the apex class and show you how we handle the inputs so we have a map of string comma object inputs from where we uh, fetch the arguments node within the arguments node uh, uh, at the zeroth we will have the first input at the first uh, uh, so it would be it would be a list uh in the list we can fetch uh, the number of inputs which subsequently we can fetch the number of inputs which we sent yep so this is how you can handle the inputs in your apex class so that's all for today's session and hope you like this video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone